Welcome back to VID Machine. You're watching with Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Kaboom, Kaboom, and Super. Kaboom, oh yeah! Kaboom, oh yeah! Okay, Minion of a Mighty Deck. So, this is now the deck that is all mighty. The Minion of a Mighty Deck. And, of course, we're gonna need another pumper to get this guy going. I need another mountain, another pump spell. There we go. We got our pumper. So now we can play. Mignon of the Mighty. Filet Mignon of the Mighty. And I'll show you how this deck works. It's a very awesome deck. Okay, that's it. Game over. We give him a Reckless Charge. Another Reckless Charge. We attack with Minion of the Mighty. We put in... Giant Dragon, which cannot be blocked by creatures with power 2 or less in play. We win the game. Dread Linorm has won us the game. Yep, he can't block him. Cannot block them at all. You have as many 2-2s two as you want. Dread Linorm is going to kill you the following turn. He's still a 2-2. Ah, damn it. How the hell did he cast all of that stuff? Oh, well. Anyway. So now what we're going to do is we're going to have to attack. See how many elves we can kill. <laughs> Boom! Haha, <laughs> dead. There you have it. Man, I love this deck. Okay, so uh, right now, um, what we're also going to be discussing as of late would be what's happening with Wizards of the Coast. Now, um, what's going on currently with Wizards of the Coast? Now, um, Bank of America, okay, they downgraded their stuff. They double downgraded this stock. They performed an audit on Hasbro stock and Wizards of the Coast stock. And what they discovered is that they, uh, they, it's high risk. It's not worth it. And if you do plan on investing, be very careful because the stock has a very, very large tendency to crash. Well, soon. So people are actually concerned. People are actually worried. Because when Wizards was interviewed, they said that they weren't going to be changing anything that they were doing for the next year. They are not changing a single thing. They're still going to continue to pump product into the market. They're still going to continue okay, to uh, pump all those products, to print overprint products. Even though they're not selling that much. And players, okay, they're fighting with their wallets. They're not buying any new product. So here's Wizards of the Coast printing, printing, printing new product, waiting to give the money to Hasbro. And Hasbro says, where's my money? And they're like, oh, we're going to have to get it from the players. And the players aren't giving them their money. 
So, it's going to be interesting to find out what's going to happen. Now, another thing, if the 30th edition packs actually sell, if a bunch of morons actually buy the packs and hoard them, then magic will never be the same ever again. It's going to become super expensive. Booster boxes ranging from $200 to $300. Packs ranging from $250 to $500. Okay, that's going to be the future of Magic the Gathering. It won't be an accessible game anymore. Back then, um, we could play Magic the Gathering. Packs were like 40 pesos each. They were like uh, a dollar each per pack. Because the dollar back then was 40 to a dollar, so... It's like a dollar per pack, but now, how expensive the cards have gotten. Before, we're like 40 to 70 pesos, now we're like 150 pesos per pack. Or really expensive. So, anyway, once again, this is the ID Machine with the Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Sly Guy. More use for you tomorrow, and here we go, yeah.